Good evening. My name is Juan Morillo, and today I'm going to talk to you about the presidential candidate Bernie Sanders. Uh, so let's get to answering the question. As a background of Bernie Sanders, uh, he was born on September 8, 1941 in Brooklyn, New York. So I would make him 78 years old by uh, January 3rd, 2020. He has a bachelor, a bachelor from the University of Chicago from 1964. Uh, he's married to Jane O'Meara Sanders and together they have three children along with a daughter named Karina Sanders. Uh, work history. For college, he went to a Brooklyn college and shortly after Brooklyn college, he moved to uh, Chicago University. But shortly after he graduated from Chicago University, he moved back to New York City and there he worked as a head start teacher, psychiatric aide and carpenter. Then in 1968, he moved to a town called Stannard, Vermont which was a small town in the state, and he worked as a filmmaker and a writer there. Uh, by the way, like when he worked there, he said that he was interested a lot on the on people living in rural rural areas and stuff. And he started to like like the political aspect. Uh, on his political experience, Bernie Sanders became a major of Burlington, Vermont from 1981 to 1989, and then he formed part of the House of Representatives in 1991, and then served for 16 years until he became a senator on 2007. He has been part of the US Senate since 2007, and right now currently running for the 2020 presidential election while he's still a senator. Uh, on his professional development, uh, he's, Sanders has worked on the government a lot and he has steadily worked his way up the political ladder going you know from mayor to house of representatives to senate and in his accomplishments Bernie Sanders has published a lot of um, books and different works uh, which include Outsider in the White House, Why Americans Should Take Back the Media the speech on corporate need and the decline of our middle class and many, many more. Uh, on the office he holds, uh, he, uh, Bernie Sanders is currently a U United States Senator, as I stated before, and he has been since 2007. And he's actually a ranking member of the Senate Budget Committee too. And this has been, this has been since 2015. Uh, as of duties of office, uh, as a member of the Senate, of course, Sanders' job holds a long-term commitment to the Senate uh, as a, and as a public figure and debates over the creation and updating of laws that are or are not to be passed in the nation. Uh, on his accomplishments while working on, on the Senate and like on his current job, Sanders has received the distinction of being named the third most popular senator in the history of the United States. Uh, he also passed an amendment making sure that solar water heaters provide uh, at least 30% of hot water for new federal buildings and required a public database be made available showing the names of senior department officials seeking employment with defense contractors. Uh, party affiliation, he's obviously currently a Democrat uh, on the hot button issues, he's had a, a lot. Uh, many people don't agree with him in different aspects of his campaign, which include that the economy of the country should work for all people and not just the wealthy. Uh, this has been criticized by many people and being called something that is against, you know, American American beliefs. Most of those people believe that like all the American dreams should be all about like oh you work hard. Then you earn your place, you became wealthy, and like that's it, like you're wealthy. And um, there's also hot button issues on uh, what he believes we should do with the climate change, which is uh, like we should take immediate action. He actually believes that like we should create a green new deal to reduce our carbon emissions and uh, invest in clean energy technology. He actually believes that that will help 
a lot in helping our climate change uh, overall in the world. Um, on his strengths, uh, many many Americans favor Sanders increasing the minimum wage and higher taxes for the rich and an expanded version of the Medicare system. This is no this is nothing new. Democrats are like Democrat beliefs uh, constitute the belief that like the rich should be taxed more and the poor should be taxed less. And like as I stated, many Americans believe that that should help the economy and people that are suffering right now. Uh, he does have a lot of weaknesses though, and like the, his weaknesses include that Sanders doesn't really have a very realistic uh, um, theory for governing the United States. Uh, this is based on the fact that like when he's asked some questions about, uh, you know, like how he will solve the issues he talks in like grand terms and this bothers some republicans because he they basically think he doesn't actually have any ideas he's just like saying he does uh you know what i mean um also most americans are not socialists and like as as one becomes aware when you investigate about sanders he's openly socialist and many people don't like the ideas of a socialist government uh, on my thoughts, uh, I selected this candidate because honestly what I like the most about Bernie Sanders is his preoccupation with climate change. I believe that climate is not only changing thanks to human action, but it's also like is we're going on a path that like if we don't take action right now, we're going to like be stuck in a mess and I really like that he's really concentrated and he's really like uh, focused on helping the climate change and making a new deal and joining different international organizations to help climate change overall. Um, I also like the idea that colleges, college degrees should be the next high school diplomas. And although I do, I do believe that private colleges like do have a, a big impact on the economy, I believe that college education should be at least made more available or more, you know, affordable for high school students who want to graduate. Uh, on the top three issues that are important to the candidate, Bernie Sanders in this case, the first issue that is important to him is climate change, creating a new deal, uh, creating a new deal. Uh, his second issue is Medicare for all. And his last top issue is college fraud. Um, the three issues are really important to me. Like I do believe, I do believe uh, those three issues have relevance over our country today. Uh, what I like the most about his campaign, though, is that he's been working for over forty year, years in the field of politics, and I do believe he has a lot of experience on the topic. And like I don't think he's, I don't think he is like a, a stupid person or something like that. Like I actually believe he has a plan, and he has something to think about the country. Um, as I said, I really like uh, his climate protection claims and his college claims. Um, and yeah, I know, I know he, I think he knows, or he can. No, if that makes sense, how to deal with these issues. Um, I looked at their website and their campaign, and I have to say that I really love the font of Bernie Sanders' website. Like all the colors he has, like uh, the white and the and the light blue and the and the red. I think they all contrast pretty well, and like they look kind of like benevolent in a sense. And also, like if you think about it, it's the same colors as the as the US flag, so that's kind of like a really good, um, you know, comparison that he did there. Um, one thing I don't like about his about his web page though is that like as soon as you enter, uh, there's like the option to donate to his party, and it's not just one option; it's, a, it's actually like many. 
like, oh, you want to donate $27, $40, $50, $100, $200. And, like, I know that, like, he wants, like, he, it's not that he wants, he needs to make money for his campaign and, like, to do all of he needs to become president. But I also think that that shouldn't be the main point of his overall webpage. Because he wants to communicate what he wants to do with the country, not the money he wants to earn. So that was, I, I think it was kind of rushed. I mean, he could have put it in another part of the, of the webpage. Um, if they win the nomination, though I think they can beat Trump, even though I think Bernie Sanders um, has a lot of potential to actually be nominated for the United States, I don't think it's very probable that he will become president. Uh, this is because the changes he wants to make even though they're pretty optimistic and I think they're really well intentioned, like I don't think he's corrupt or anything like that. Uh, but even though they're like that, um, they're pretty unrealistic as of now. Um, like for example, ma making college free is something that will take years. Um, yeah, maybe you can start with him, but I don't think college will be made free during his campaign. Um, Many Americans also don't like very much uh, the idea that he's a socialist. Like some Americans are pretty sketchy about that, and they think that he wants to change like the whole, you know, like you the whole United States belief. Um, if they win, do I think they will be successful? I, I, I think they will. Uh, just because like I think he's a good guy, and I think he really wants something good for the country. Like, even though he's he's a socialist, he's not corrupt or anything like that. Like, I, I think um, what his ideas will allow the country to increase its production of, prof of, of professionals as of the college, uh, the free college program. And this will thus increase human capital as more educated people are gonna like flow to the, the United States system. Um, closing thoughts, overall, I think Bernie Sanders is a pretty strong candidate. I think he's really popular. He has a lot of uh, good ideas that can be put to, to work. And he actually has a lot of fan base. Uh, not only that, but he also wanted to tackle other themes such as laws regarding immigration, workplace and housing. And as I said before, all of these themes are really relevant to the, United, the U.S. economy right now and our situation as a country. And I think that if he becomes a president, he will actually like target those issues and of course it will make the country better. Thank you very much for hearing this and I hope you like this video.